everyone, it's Natalie from NellieDesign.com. Today I want to show you a new Cricut product. It's the watercolors markers. Now before we get started, I want to thank Cricut for sending me the products for review. Know that I'm not paid for this tutorial and that all opinions are 100% my own and honest as usual. If you're already someone that has made watercolor art before, you might find this product a bit ordinary. But if you always wanted to try watercolor but never dared, this might just be the product for you and this might just be the time for you to try it out. Because you know what? You'll have your Cricut to help you and it will do a good part of the hard work. So the Cricut watercolor markers are made for the joy and for the maker and the export for so for all the Cricut. But as all the other pens and markers, you'll have a different one for the joy and another one for the explorer and the maker. So each box comes with eight different colors of watercolor markers and with a little paintbrush. So the idea is to get the Cricut to draw the design with the markers and then by hand with the paintbrush you will then color inside it. Also it is made for cards so you'll have three sizes of watercolor cards the S40 that are the square cards, the R40 and also the R20. This will work with the Cricut Maker and Explorer and the mat. But know that all cards ending by 40 won't work with the joy. So let me show you. If I take the Cricut Joy mat and try just put it on top of it, you'll see that the 40 size are a little bit bigger than the Joy mat, so it won't work. So just know that. And if you're really mixed up with all the cards, the sizes, the types, the foil, the not foil, the insert cards, well, just know that I have a cheat sheet for you that will help you demystify everything there is to know about the cards. So check out the link in the description of the video. This cheat sheet is totally free. You just need to click on the link. So we're going to go straight into Design Space and I'm going to show you what to do. So in Design Space, you'll need to find an image that is made for watercolor uh, markers. Uh, Cricut has made tons and tons of designs like this. The thing is that you don't really want the colors to overlap on each other because when you're going to color them, it's going to be a mess. So when you want to find them, you just go into images and just type watercolor markers and you'll find plenty, plenty of images to do. Now, I've chosen this one and if you really want this one, I will share it in my Design Space profile. The link will also be in the description of this video. So what I did is that I took this design and I assigned a color to each candle. So if you see it right here, you make sure that the operation menu is set to pen and then you click on the color right here. You're gonna need to choose markers one millimeters. This is the one that are the watercolor markers. And then you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and find a watercolor. So there are the, the eight colors are right there. So I've chosen green for this one. And what I also did is that I drew a square and the exact size of the card. So this is the information that is on the packaging. So the card are 4.75 inches. So I'm using the square one. So I did place 4.75 right here. And then in operation menu, I selected guide. The guides are pretty useful. The Cricut won't bother with them. You won't have anything, but it will. you don't need to close the layers or anything. It's just right there to help you, guide you to make the right size. So I think my candles are the right size. The only thing I need to do now is let me put the guide right here, select everything and attach. Of course, you need to attach if you want all the candles to be next to each other. So now I'm gonna hit make it. So right here, instead of on mat, you're gonna select on card mat. And by default, it gives you the R20 cards, but we're using the S40, S4 square, 40 cards. So this is the one I'm gonna select. I'm gonna be making four cards, the exact same cards, because I wanna show you more than only one coloring technique for the watercolor markers. You'll see, you'll have a lot of fun with this. It's gonna be very fun, stay tuned for the next part. So I'm gonna make four copies and apply, so it duplicates on the four cards. We're gonna hit continue. In Browse All Materials, you're gonna just type watercolor, it's, or even just water, it will work. So you see, watercolor cards are right here. We're gonna select them. And now be careful, really Cricut Design Space really tells you at this point what to do. So don't forget to move the star wheel in the middle, because you know the card mat, you really need to align the star wheel so that they are right here in the middle. So that's what I'm gonna do, like this. 
and then we're going to be ready to place the cards on the mat, insert the markers in the Cricut as uh, Design Space asks us, and we're going to be drawing four cards and I'll be back to show you my four different techniques to do with watercolors. So the four cards are done and in my opinion this is when the fun starts. <laughs> so I'm going to show you four different techniques and please stay till the end because afterwards I'm going to show you something else that you can do on top of these cards. You'll see we'll have a lot of fun. So in the watercolor box comes a little paintbrush. This paintbrush is special. It's not just a regular paintbrush. It's a paintbrush that you can fill up with water. So you twist it like this, you fill it up with water, and it's kind of squeezable, so you don't need a little glass of water, anything to rinse your paintbrush. You're only gonna go like this, you squeeze it, and you make water fall out. And it's gonna clean your brush between colors, so that is really cool. And you can really play with it when you use it on the cards. You can squeeze it a little bit, get the water running, and it's very fun. It's very easy to use. So you're gonna need this little cut towel to really uh, rinse your uh, paintbrush between colors, as I said. And we're gonna start by the first one. We're gonna do as Cricut intended us to do. So we're gonna just color and fill out the design. Uh, what I like to do is to open the card like this to make sure I don't wet the other side of the card. And that's it, we're gonna fill out, rinse between the colors, and we're gonna see what it does. So you're gonna tell me that I'm not painting all the way inside of the borders and that's just me. Uh, I like water when watercolor flows and it doesn't go all the way everywhere and really kind of bleeds and made some dark shades, with lighter shades, so that's how I like it. You really can do whatever you want. So the first one is done and as you can see watercolor really flows you can't expect to stay uh, between the lines it's really it's flowing it's moving and this is watercolor and you really have to let it go and you're gonna see that in the next cards we're really gonna <laughs> let it go so for the next technique what I want to do is use the Cricut markers and kind of add some shades so I'm gonna imagine that there's a light coming that way and that you see I did it for the red, now I can do it for the orange. There's kind of a, a bit of shades coming in. And I'm gonna just color like this. It doesn't have to be precise. As you could, as you saw, the watercolor will really flow, so it will all be okay that way, so. So here it is, second technique done, and let's do a third one. So for this technique, I'm gonna be drawing outside the box. Yeah, completely outside. So I want to make the watercolor flow in the exterior of the candle. So you're gonna see the color is gonna kind of flow one to into each other. Uh, it needs a little bit of letting it go. 
<laughs> so that's what we're gonna do and as the same thing as the other one I'm gonna add a bit of color a bit of shades to add some texture to the cards So to integrate the colors together, the best trick I can tell you is that you need to really clean the paintbrush, make sure there's no color inside, and just add a line of water. Only water. You won't see it on camera, but it's there. And then when you're gonna add water to the colors, it's gonna sip in this water line. So you see it coming right now. And then you wash it and you do the same thing on the other side. Oh, the purple is really dark. Wow. I love it. So you see the water sipping? So I really like that. It's not for everyone. You really have to let it go. So after that, I wash. There's still no color in there. And I try to kind of blend it a bit together. Not too much, because it's going to make a darker color. It won't be very nice. Just a bit like that, so that they integrate into each other. And if you want to integrate a color to nothing, well, you just add some water with no color and you go and find the color. So you see? And then it kind of flows to nothing. So what do you think? This is, for me, this is closely what watercolor should look like. Um, I don't know, I like it when it bleeds like that and it's not for everybody, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so last technique, uh, maybe some of you are gonna panic a bit. <laughs> You're gonna see, you don't even need the paintbrush. It's at the same time the easiest technique and what I'll be using for that is a little spray bottle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray on the card, not too close, I don't want it to just like put too much water on the card. I really want to have some little drops on there. So let's do it. Now you don't touch it, you'll let it dry. <laughs> That's the hard part. So the only thing you can do now, if you want, you can add some salt. Yes, salt. So it will make like kind of crystals in the paint. So my, we might not see it because the, the, the spray already did some crystal, but I'm gonna try and put some. Everything is now dry. And if you appreciated all these techniques, please give me a thumbs up on this video and tell me which one do you prefer? Is it the first one, the second one, the third one, or the fourth one? <laughs> I really like to know. Leave a comment below. So the tutorial is not completely done. As I said, I wanted to add something on top of the cards. So I had a happy birthday that I wrote in Design Space and I signed four different pens. Well, three pens and one foil. So I inserted it in the Cricut and this is what I've got. And I even made an English version for you. So it's the same thing except in English. So what we had before was one, two, three, four. Now I want you to vote in the comments below for A, B, C, or D. So the first one, the A card, is made with glitter uh, pencil. So you see happy birthday written in glitter. The second one is made with the regular medium point black uh, marker. So this is a second one. The third one will be made with the calligraphy pens. And the last one is made with the foil tip. So tell me in the comments below, which one do you like the best? So if you really like to play with paint and paint brushes, I'll have another video for you to watch. See you soon, bye-bye.